Alright everyone, it looks like it's that time again, and I need to edit the scene. Why Why do I never think these things ahead? I don't know. Please forgive me. Alright, let's oh, bring that down a bit. Extend that back up a bit. And then we can do that. There we go. Alrighty. Now that that's done, I'm sorry. Hey everyone, my name's Silver. Welcome back to the channel. So today, guys, we are back here with episode 10 weekly review of Card Fight Vanguard GZ. So this week, guys, we got Grandora going off against Kamui. And boy, this episode was interesting. <coughs> Overall, I really like this episode. I'm going to state, as again, guys, always, if you haven't seen the episode, go watch it. Link in the description below. And then come back and watch this. There are spoilers. You've been warned. So guys, as you remember last week, Grand, uh, Grandora faced off against the um, Noah's friends. And they lost. They It revealed the Xeroth dragon. And overall, this is, this just picks up from last week's episode. Grandora versus Kamui. Um, so here's the front shot of them. Overall, I enjoyed this episode. Um... Obviously, Darkface is very upset with Team Q4 for destroying their base. And Grandora is sort of here to get her vengeance. Moving along, we have this nice... I thought this was going to be the thumbnail, but I found a much better one. So, if you've seen the thumbnail, then you know what it is. But yeah, they they have a card fight. This card table somehow managed to survive the wreckage. Honestly, at this point, I think all the Apostles have the ability just to generate card fight tables out of thin air. But, um... Yeah, so they have their little spat back and forth of sending jabs, and then they draw their opening hands and start the card fight. Um, overall, this I like this scene. It shows a nice, awesome villain character that I really love against one of my favorite original cast members that has grown up so much. Honestly, I think Kamui is probably one of my favorite characters out of the whole series. It's not even Aichi and Kai. Kamui is. Because, in all honesty, he's had a lot of development. He started off as around like 8 or so years old. Not that, not that much younger than Aichi, and has grown to this wonderful character that we get to see today. So moving along, um, they stand their rear guard or their units, which Kamui reveals a new little unit right here. But I like this scene as well. I also thought this might have been the thumbnail, but again, I I think the one I chose was much better. You guys can agree or disagree. But yeah, so they're fighting in the Mega Colony area again. So it's Mega Colony versus Nova Grapplers Rush. And yeah, so the fight starts off pretty standard, and the Great Kamui rides Zubat Battler Victor. So we have a new Grade 3 Victor, which only keeps furthering my belief that a lot of the main stride units, so a lot of decks like Chronojet and Altmile and Fenrir, are all going to get unique Grade 3s, either be supporting or new stride based. So we have Zubat Battler Victor. A nice little purple Pokemon. Um, I tried getting the picture, but it whited out, and I didn't realize until after the episode. Because I do these screenshots during the episode while I'm going, so it takes a little time. And trust me, there was a lot from this week. So yeah, we get a new unit, which I think I tried. There it is. This is the new unit, Zubat Battler Victor. This is one of Kamui's drive checks. It also reveal, show, shows a new uh, Grade 2 I didn't get a screenshot of right now. I'll show that later. So the battle continues. It's a pretty standard back-and-forth battle. Um, Kamui also shows us a new, uh, grade four unit. It's something Victor. It's not favorite champ Victor. At least I don't think this is favorite champ. It might be favorite champ was throughout the whole battle, but I don't think so. Cause this had a different skill. Um, here's another copy of the unit that it was showing. Um, it, the new stride, the new Victor does have a stride skill and this is the new grade two unit. It looks sort of like a samurai. So I'm hoping we're going to get more samurai support. But guys, I do enjoy the fact that we're getting some new Nova Victor support. Um, the turn progresses pretty much as normal, and then it ends, and then we ride, and then Grandora shows up into the battlefield, and she has a pretty fair turn. She attacks, paralyzes, does all that fun stuff. Um, we have sort of a screenshot of her whole formation at that time period of that turn. It's pretty good. I think this is going to be a standard Dangerous Horn, uh, Mutant King, Dark Face, the new Stride unit, and these supporting units. Um, 
so yeah the like i said this battle progresses pretty normally up to this point and then she says something in kamui her eyes glow red which i don't have a screenshot of because i didn't think it was all that important and she basically becomes a world eater yeah um remember back when vanguard used to be about settling fights on a separate planet throughout card games on hours and now she just wants to take over our entire universe with her dark faced children so um world eater world destroyer it don't matter she's literally plotting the end of our planet and the end of our universe she literally just wants to come here devour us and make her children she is the birthing mother of every unit and she says that throughout this episode she wants to birth her children on our planet card fight used to be child friendly so yeah, she's a planet. She wants to be a planet eater. Um, we have a screenshot of her explaining all this to Mubi. So that's why she decided to join Giza. It was no particular place. I mean, she shows us a picture of Cray and shows us where the Zoo Nation resides, and it's pretty small. Like, for a nation that only has three clans that has a lot of units to it, it is fairly small. And you have to remember, at one point. She was helping defend Cray against the Void, or at least I hope, because logic in this anime has gone out the window at this point. So Kamui's here learning all this, and then she drops the biggest bombshell on our, on us of the entire day. She wants Kamui to become her husband. So like I said about child friendliness, gone out the window. So we have sort of two different uh, points of view, because that's sort of where the commercial break came in. She wants just to devour Kamui and birth a new powerful ultimate unit. Um, uh, they stop joking around and she strides into her ultimate unit, stride, her Xeroth Dragon. Which I just sort of like these sort of looks of the art, so that's why I added them in at this point. But yeah, I like the symbol on her hand. So she strides into, obviously, the Xeroth Dragon. And Kamui does this amazing thing. He perfect guards Darkface. And then... Yeah, he perfect guards this. And then he G guards the attack. So, um, another nice look of the awesome, beautiful artwork of this card. He G guards with a new G unit. And intercepts with two units. So, he stops Grandora entirely. In that aspect. And then she's not she's much kinder to her G zone than uh Dunjin was. She's like Darkface, take it. And I can't remember what my next slide is. Oh yeah, it's um Kamui's Victor unit. It's his um this is Favorite Champ. So he strides into Favorite Champ to get multiple attacks, and boy does he get attacks off. So he starts off by attacking with his rear guards. Activating their seals to restand them. So he got literally, I think, three or four attacks off just on his rear guards in his first attack. Then he attacks with Favorite Champ. Uses Favorite Champ Victor to stand his three rear guards. And itself, he attacks again with um, them. And then Favorite Champ. She guards it and gets a heal trigger, stopping this entire thing in its tracks. And then he's like, I'm not done yet. Drive check. Draw trigger. Draw. Discard four cards. Stands everything again. And then attacks with favorite champ. Causing, you know, everyone here to feel super happy and friendship. And then, yeah, he just says infinite slash rush, which I honestly I like. Um, I tried getting the unit itself, but Kamui got in the way, which I still think this is an awesome art, which I think I might print out and hang up on my wall. But yeah, so Kamui wins the overall fight. Um, Black Moon, you're right. Every time someone loses, their main grade 3 gets sent to the, the uh, damage zone. And see, there's the heal trigger from earlier I mentioned. And yeah, she then does... Then she realizes she's losing her ability to stay on this planet. So she hands over the Z-Rare, or the Xeroth Dragon. I keep calling them Z-Rares, because that's the only rare that they come in. Bushiro, please make common versions of these or something. But she hands off the Xeroth Dragon to Darkface, or Mutant King Darkface, and then as I see ya. So yeah, overall, 
Kamui won the fight, which sort of throws a lot of people's hopes and theories of her fighting Asha to oblivion. And Bushiro sort of was very misleading with this. Being the fact that, you know, Tokoha and Tokoha's grade three's name was announced and Grandora's skill and Grandora were announced at the same time, we all thought that they would be a perfect matchup. So I'm really sad to see Grandora go as a villain. I'm hoping they'll keep her human character in. I don't know what her human name is yet, but I'm really hoping we'll get to see her play. <clears throat> Honestly, though, if I was a if I was someone that was possessed by Unifrom Cray, I wouldn't want to play. Um, this video is a little bit longer, so I'm gonna try to wrap it up here soon. We see Noah at the very end of the episode. Um, I think this is chaos, but I don't think it's chaos at the same time. So this unit was shown to be in Noah and possessing him, which the look looks like chaos, but I'm not entirely sure. I've never actually heard chaos really talk. So it's not chaos breaker anymore. That That's also something you need to keep in mind. And yeah, so he has Noah strung up. And yeah, overall pretty interesting. Um, So I believe this is chaos. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. And then moving along, we got... I looked into next week's episode and I thought this was perfect. So it looks like there's going to be a party going on. Someone talking about love in there and goddesses and all that stuff. And then this was there. I'm super excited. We're finally going to get to see his unit and him fight. So it looks like uh, Ibuki stumbles into some maze. And he's going to be there. I feel like we're going to get another Xeroth Dragon user out of him. But yeah, like I said, he stumbles in there. And this is the name. Evil God Bishop Gash Gaston. And yeah, that's also the. That looks to be the name of the unit. So, overall thoughts for this episode. Um, that's also my uh, thumbnail, as you guys saw. But um, overall, I liked the episode. It was a well written episode. And it, it did have a lot to talk about. It crammed a lot into an episode. And overall, I feel like they could have done more with Grandora. But I feel like most of our Xeroth Dragon Wielders are going to be gone within a handful of episodes of them being around besides probably the important ones. So the Aqua Force and Noah are probably going to be the only two that really stick around for a long period. Overall, I can't wait for next week's episode to see the new the new uh, Dark Force stuff. Or Dark Force, yeah. Uh, Dark Irregular stuff. But I really don't want to drag this on too much longer. Guys, thank you so much for over the 450 views on last week's episode. Can we please smash this video and get it up to 500 this week? That'd be awesome. But guys, until next time, I've been the Silver Wolf with the episode review. See you all later. Peace.